Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because this is my long awaited, much anticipated Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul. So if you follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, you know that I went through a little bit of a debacle. One of my orders took a lot longer than I thought it would take. Um, it's my first time ordering since I've become a VIB Rouge and it says three day shipping so I thought it was going to get here on Monday. It is now Thursday. It finally just got here like five minutes ago and I'm going to film this right away but if you follow me on Snapchat you know that I went down to the office to get it and the office is locked and it was just ridiculous but I finally got it so let's do this. So actually a lot of the products that I'm going to be talking about I've already I've already owned. I did a couple different shopping trips to Sephora so a couple of these things I've already had and been playing with and then some of these things are brand new I haven't even taken them out of this box yet like I said I literally got it five minutes ago I'm gonna, I just cut open the tape and I'm going to unbox this for you so I thought that would be fun so let's start with the new stuff because that's what I'm the most excited about obviously it's all new for you guys but I'm really excited so let's do this I'm getting snapchats from people saying yay your package came because <laughs> I was so upset about it Oh, you guys are so awesome. I love you guys. Oh, yay! I'm <laughs> so excited. Okay. Uh, an invitation to follow my senses. Okay. An empty bag. Okay. Okay, first thing right on top is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum. Full Spectrum. I had to double check that's what it was called. Yes, the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited for this. Look at all those colors. Oh, and it comes with a brush. Okay, so this comes with 21 shades of our iconic eyeshadows from Bold Brights to Matte White. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a comparison of this with another one that I'm going to show you in just a second too. So, yay! Next in here, I got the Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafe eggnog peppermint mocha and gingerbread scented palette so this is like a set with different palettes in it let's open this up and take a look oh so cute so this is like the same design as which last year's which i have over here here this is last year's it got kind of faded because it was out in the sun but it's yeah it's the exact same design so how fun is that last year's was christmas in paris this year it's in new york all right so this little looks like it's so festive i love it so it comes with a little better than sex uh, mascara mini in there and then the three palettes in here okay so this one is eggnog latte okay sure sure that could be eggnog oh I like that green that's gonna be great for the holidays this one is peppermint mocha yeah a little bit pepperminty sure oh that's so pretty and then this one is gingerbread cookie that's so cool wow that one's really pretty let me just swatch this one yeah it's I think this might be one of those ones that like it's pretty but it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be okay it's pretty nope it's pretty I take it back it's pretty I like it I'm I'm okay it's all good so that's the Grand Hotel Cafe and I also got an extra one for you guys for my upcoming holiday giveaway so that's gonna be going live after my fall giveaway that's going on right now so this that this giveaway will be going live in a few more weeks but I am starting to collect things for that so I did get you guys one of the one of these for that I also got two of these Tarte Curl Boss Lash Essentials. I've never owned a lash curler from Tarte, so I'm so excited to try this out. And I got an extra one for you guys for my winter holiday giveaway. But this also comes with the Tarte Lash Paint, which is a mascara, I'm guessing, and this really pretty colorful um, lash curler. And it's in this cute little tin that's like a Christmas present. I just, so cute. So, yay! Sephora Color Switch. I know the Sephora brand's not cruelty-free, and that really bothers me, but I have seen so many people use this, and it works so well, and I just, I don't know if it works well, but I've seen people use it working well. So I just wanted to try it. It says it's a makeup removing sponge used dry that allows you to remove eyeshadow color and switch to another color without any product transfer. So it's supposed to clean your brush without getting it wet at all. It sounds mind-blowingly awesome, and if you know of a product like this that does the same thing that is cruelty-free, please let me know because I would like to try that. But for now, I got this one, and I think it it's supposed to last for, is it indefinite? I don't know. I'll find out. But, you know, if I only have to buy this once and I can clean my brushes forever, like, that'll be cool. I also got this Too Faced and Beauty Blender combination gift set. This has a beauty blender in it, a blotterazzi, which I'm really excited to try. I've heard good and bad things about that. So I'm excited to try that. And then also the candlelight glow, a little mini highlighter. This is a really cute gift set. I'm excited. I love the beauty blender. These two ones I haven't tried yet, so I'm very excited to try them. I think this will just be super fun. And Too Faced and Beauty Blender collaborating, like, 
yeah. I also got two of these Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Peppermint Mocha Liquefied Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Candy Cane. So it's scented like peppermint mocha and it's in a limited edition shade. Oh wow, I can really smell the peppermint mocha too, for sure. That's pretty, it looks pink. On other people it looked more red, but it looks more pink in my swatch. I don't know, I will try it out, I will let you guys know. I'm sure you'll see it on me in lots of videos. And then I also got a second one for you guys for the giveaway. Next I have a ton of point perks because when I was on the website ordering this stuff, they had a lot of new point perks that really intrigued me and I've been saving up points for a long time because every time I go in store, they never have anything that interests me that much. But online they had a lot of brands that I like and brands that I wanted to try so I was really excited about that. So the first thing I got is this Mur Murad, is that how you say it? Mur Murad? Murad? Um, instant effects skincare set so it's smooth and firm set and it looks like it comes with an eye lift treatment exfoliating cleanser ultimate moisturizer and collagen infusion treat repair what is it I don't know looks like a serum maybe so that's cool I'm excited to try this I love trying new skincare that's got to be one of my favorite things next to makeup but you know I love it so let's open this up okay so here's the eye lift firming treatment Okay, so, oh, that's so interesting. So it comes with this little jar, and then it also comes with these little pads. It says to apply five pumps to each under eye area in a generous layer. Do not rub in. Apply pad and press lightly. After 10 to 15 minutes, lift off eye pads and gently pat in any excess product. A slight tingling sensation is normal. Use two to three times per week. Interesting. So this is like more of a deep sort of treatment thing, not an everyday thing. Well, I'm excited to try this. I've never tried anything like this. I've heard a lot about iPads like this, but I've never tried them. So yay. Then we have, look, it's wrapped in Murad labeled tissue paper and be fancy. Then we have this Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. It doesn't say if it's day cream or night cream. It does say follow with a Murad sunscreen during the day, so I'm guessing this could be either day or night cream, but if you do use it during the day, you're gonna wanna make sure you have additional SPF on. This is the Age Reform Treat Repair Rapid Collagen Infusion. This looks like a serum, because it says massage evenly over clean face, neck, and chest, follow with the three-step moisturizer, with a step three moisturizer. And this is just the exfoliating cleanser, so cool. They're good sized products. I mean, it's enough of a size for me to get a good idea of whether or not I like it if I wanna purchase the whole set. So this will be awesome to try. I'm really excited about this one. Next point perk, I got this Buxom Sexy Little Habits Kit. Really excited about this. I see a mascara in there. I'm excited to try their mascara. I love their lip products, so let's give it a look. I've only ever tried the Buxom lip glosses, really, so I'm excited to try these other ones. This lip gloss is in the shade Sugar. I'm gonna double check and make sure I don't already own this shade. I don't think I do. It doesn't look familiar, but before I swatch it, just in case if I do, I'm gonna put it in the giveaway, but I think I don't think I own this one. And then it also comes with this one, which is called Instigator, and this is Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. Cool. It says Toasted Fig. No, Instigator. There it is. So this is an Instigator. Awesome. Then here is the mascara in Blackest Black and a little mini eyeshadow in Mink Magnet. Look at how teeny this is. Look at how teeny this is. I've never owned an eyeshadow compact this small. This is ridiculously cute. Ooh. That's pretty. Let's swatch that. Wow, that's really pretty. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Okay, Buxom, you got my attention. I like this one. Awesome. Another point perk was this Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Sellout, which I don't already own, which I'm surprised because it looks like a shade I would have bought, but it must have been sold out when I tried to buy it. I imagine that. So this is, this is just, this is what it looks like. Let's, uh, that looks like my kind of color. That's really pretty. Awesome. That's so cool. I'm excited. Yay. And then the last point perk is this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've heard a lot about this. I got it in the shade medium. Hopefully it works for me to at least give me an idea if I like it or not. I'm afraid it might be a little light. Hmm. It might be okay. It looks a little light, but yeah, it's a little light, but it's not like unworkable like I can put this on and then bronze up my face and get an idea of whether or not I like this product it has a nice little aroma to it not too that's nice okay now I have a bunch of things that I have had for a few days that I either got in store or that I got in a purchase that we ordered a few days ago some of these I actually ordered before the sale that helped me reach my VIB Rouge status but I figured I'd 
put it all in this haul because we love hauls, don't we? Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is this beauty right here. This is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my goodness, I was so excited for this. It is humongous, you guys see that? And it has this beautiful artwork. I'm getting really obsessed with Kat Von D's artwork, knowing that she does it all herself. It is so cool. And look at this. So it says metal right here. And watch, watch. It says matte. Look at that. How cool is that? I cannot wait to add this one to my artwork too on my wall. I have like a whole wall of all my packaging that I've kind of made into artwork. I can't wait to add this one. It's so beautiful. So I have been using this one for a little bit, but I'm going to save my opinions on it for the review. This is the big honking thing. This is what it looks like. And just a sneak peek. There she is. So many colors. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do this one and the Urban Decay Spectrum in the same video. Let me know what you think about that idea, if you like that idea, just cause they're both kind of rainbow palettes and I feel like maybe a good comparison would be a good thing, but let me know what you think. And let me know if there's anything else here that I'm mentioning that you wanna see more of an in-depth review on or that you want me to mention even on social media or something. Just let me know what you guys are interested in cause I always try to give you guys what you're interested in, whether it's a whole video or even a mention on Instagram or something like that. So please let me know. Next, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ultimate Glow Kit. I'm pretty sure it's Ultimate, yeah, Ultimate Glow Glow Kit. Another beauty, another really big one. I mean, this is like bigger than any of their other glow kits. And I actually just filmed a review on this today, so that'll be up very soon. But this is what it looks like. It's got a mirror for once. Or, yeah, so keep your eyes out for my review on this. And I also did buy an extra one of these for my holiday giveaway. I wanted to show you guys this. This is what I got when I became VIB Rouge. So I actually got this before the sale with a couple of the other things. But I just wanted to show you it because, I don't know, it's so cute. I actually did show it on Snapchat, I think. But it's kind of your welcome gift that they give you. It says VIB Rouge. It's not just a status. It's a state of mind. So true and then it just has a bunch of stuff in there but this is a little NARS blush and first of all it's a teeny tiny mini little NARS brush how blush how cute is that and I don't know how to say the name of this shade but I think it's Gulu and just take a look at this look it's got a mini little NARS thing it's so, I just love minis like how beautiful is that this is the first NARS blush I've ever owned can you believe that I own like one other thing from NARS I think it's an eyeshadow palette I, I feel like there might be one other thing, but I can't think of it. My NARS collection is very small, so this is awesome. I'm really excited about this, and the packaging is just so nice, and it just feels high-end. It's just awesome. So this is just a beautiful shade, too, for fall and stuff. Yay. I also grabbed this Kat Von D Everlasting Mini Liquid Lipstick Set. There are eight liquid lipsticks in here. They're all mini sizes, but the color selection is so great. I did film a review on this product this set already so that'll be up very soon and I also got an extra one of these for my holiday giveaway next this is one that I was going back and forth and back and forth on and I almost didn't get it but I just really wanted to it was sold out online so I had to get it in the store this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills master palette by Mario the main reason why I was hesitant is because a the colors didn't scream out to me and B it's priced higher than their other palettes that have more shadows in it and I think it's just because of Mario because he's a makeup artist and he's a big deal and that makes sense that's fine but it just kind of deterred me a little bit but I not for long obviously I still fell for it really pretty colors not nothing wrong with the colors I haven't actually used this yet so I'm not sure about the quality but I will do a review if you guys would like to see one let me know but um but yeah this one really pretty colors really good for fall so that's cool so that's that one picked up a foundation I have been dying to try this one this is the urban decay all-nighter foundation I think you guys could probably guess that because I've mentioned it before I really like the urban decay naked skin foundation and this one I really like this one too I'll tell you right now I've been using it and I really like this it's very different from the Naked Skin Foundation. I knew it would be. This one is like a full coverage mattifying foundation. That one is more of a lightweight, everyday natural looking foundation. But I just really wanted to try this one. And I love the packaging. And so far, I'm just really loving this. My shade is 7.75. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, I had to go in the store and swatch this before I ordered it because I wanted to make sure. Because I remember swatching it in Ulta a few months ago and not buying it because it seemed so light. Like, I know my shade is 7.75 in the Naked Skin Foundation, but when I swatch 7.75 in this foundation, it looks a lot lighter, but it oxidizes, you guys. It really does. So whatever shade you are in the Naked Skin Foundation, you probably are the same shade in this. Just swatch it and give it a chance to settle because... 
I almost like screwed myself over by getting like a way darker shade and then I was on the website looking around and they were saying like if you're this shade in this one you're the same shade in the other one so I was like okay I need to swatch this again and, and make sure I know what's going on and so it's true if you're one shade in the naked skin you probably are the same shade in this stuff it just takes a couple minutes to oxidize and like dry down to the right color. I also grabbed this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Allison. This is a limited, I think it's a limited edition shade. I think it's limited edition for the holidays. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. So in love with this color so much that I have filmed two other videos so far today and I have not taken this off because I loved it so much. Usually I change my lip color when I film multiple videos in one day, but I couldn't do it today because it's just so pretty. It's just really pretty fall shade, really pretty in general. I just love it. One of my subscribers actually recommended this next item to me. I don't remember which video it was on. I think it was Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss video though because they recommended that I get the lip gloss in fudge. And I did because I had to, you know? I love their lip glosses so much and this color is so pretty. Someone said it was just like the perfect color for fall and stuff. So I was like, okay. Look at that pigmentation. This is such a pretty color. And I just love their lip glosses because you, could, you don't have to put anything else on and it covers your lips completely. Like they're not sheer really at all. So I just love it. I'm so glad I got this. This is so pretty for fall. Okay, the last thing I ordered from Sephora is the Becca Blushed With Light Blush Palette. This is such a beauty. I did a review on this too already. I, it's, it's not up yet, but I filmed it already. It'll be up soon. So I'm not going to get into it too much, but... This was one that I saw and it's like as soon as I saw it, I didn't buy it the first time I saw it but I knew I was going to because it's just, I love Becca. I love their face products. They're such good quality and it's just, yeah, look at those colors. They're perfect, perfection. And I also did buy an extra one of these for my holiday giveaway. So I have a bunch of goodies in that giveaway for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've entered my fall giveaway because that's still going on. So if you haven't entered that yet, make sure you go do that. I have one more product that I want to talk about, but it's not from Sephora. But I want to talk about it now because I don't know when else I'm going to haul it. And this is just the Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. There she is on the back. Such a cutie. Um, I, just, I showed you guys this on Snapchat, but I just wanted to mention it here because it's a haul. Why not? You know, um, I think it is sold out now, which is unfortunate. But I do know that Kathleen Lights has said she's trying to get, she's working her hardest to get it back in stock. So hopefully it'll come back for you guys. So this one will be in my holiday giveaway as well. And I also have a special surprise coming up for you in the very near future with one of these as well. Because I did order three of them when I ordered them. So yes, but this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Really pretty colors. This green one, I feel like... I'm not sure about this green. It's beautiful. I just... It's not fall, you know? Um, I am wearing this actually today on my eyes. And that one, this one is just so pretty. I mean, they're, they're all pretty. But here, let me swatch one more just because... So, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, so I'm wearing this green one on my outer corner and it really, the green really shows up. I really enjoy it. So um, this, this middle one, it's actually a dark green. It doesn't really look like a dark green, but it actually is. So anyways, yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for my Sephora VIB Rouge haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people to find me and my channel in this YouTube world we have going on here. And make sure you're subscribed. I am doing my five videos a week for five weeks, five for five, five days of Liz, 25 days of Liz series right now. I'm in the middle of it. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. I'm going to be reviewing a lot of these products and I'm also doing other kind of fun videos that you guys have recommended in between the reviews. So make sure if you have any suggestions, like I said, if there's any products that you want to see that I mentioned today in reviews, please let me know. If there's any other video ideas you have, please let me know. And again, make sure you've entered my fall giveaway. That is still going on until the beginning of December, actually. So I will link that right in my description box. If you haven't entered that, make sure that you do. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys have a great day. So I will talk to you again very soon.